Hi, I'm Rochelle Farrell, and you're watching BMA Backstage at the Dakota. And oh, 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 I sure do like the way you roll. Auntie Mama, Grandma, Dada, Bobby, Blue, 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 Blue. What really got me feeling music at an early age was a song that I learned in, I believe it to be first grade. And it's about a cat that climbs up on a roof and he falls and kills himself. But he has, cats have nine lives. So it's a, it's a sad, minor, dirge type of song. And that really caught my attention because normally little kid songs are in major in the major mode. This one is, was in the minor mode. It was called Don Gato. <laughs> yes, music was like um, the, either the furniture in the house or you know oxygen in the in the room. It was so ubiquitous and so normal. It, we really rarely paid any attention to it. It was just there. So my father um, was a jazz and classical pianist who played blues, gospel, anything. And he would quite often just be working on you know music of his own, and that was very normal too to be in that space too in the house. So I would ask him, Dad, what you writing? You know, what you doing? Oh, I'm just working on something. So to write music was a very natural, very comfortable thing. It, it never really occurred to me to make it a, to make a conscious choice or decision to do music. It was all, always there and it was always a given. It was, it was never a choice to be made. It was just who I am and you just do who you are, right? <laughs> I don't think it was a style that I liked more than the others. There, like I said before, I, I gravitated to the minor modes more than the major modes. Uh, anything that made you feel something, uh, the complexity or the the, the layering of, of chord progressions and with melody and, and lyric, the substance or the content of the lyric, um, just beautiful music. It didn't matter what type of music it was, what, what genre it fell in. I didn't become oppressed by a musical genre until I got into the record industry, <laughs> into the business, yeah. <laughs> well, I believe that it's, um, it's a mechanism, a necessary mechanism for marketing and promotion. And I think as we kind of got caught up in it ourselves as artists, um, because we, you know, we came up, up through this time period we happen to be in existence or in our artistry or artistic existence in a time period where marketing and promotion just seem to have burgeoned and became the central focus of everything, not just in the music industry, um, but I think it's a, a, a fallout of that, that everything has to be defined by the terms of the marketing and promotion machine, which was very detrimental. Then we'll remember to keep it real And our soul will be nourished And our spirit is fed Ooh, So satisfied I've done in this joke I can't be denied Everything is 
Well, um, let me first begin by saying, uh, giving the disclaimer that I don't feel really qualified to speak about um, the music of the day, of today, because I haven't really kept up with it too much. Um, I've kind of been in a different kind of vortex for the last at least four or five years. There are um, plenty of, of folks doing some things, and it's not, I, I can't say that I'm not qualified, I'm not saying that I'm not qualified to speak about it because there's nothing happening, it's just that I haven't really been on the scene, so to speak. Uh, but I know that, I know music, and I know humanity and human beings well enough to know that there's always gonna be somebody out there doing something. I think probably based on, um, Based upon my personal experience, stay true to yourself. Yeah, stay true to yourself. And that's kind of broad, but I mean in every area possible. Whether it be taking care of yourself physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. Um, uh, supplying yourself with the right nutrients so that your, your instrument, whatever instrument you play, the body, mind is an instrument, the first instrument. And so that has to be nourished and, and exercised and hydrated and, and staying true to yourself with regard to that right on through the gamut of staying true to self with regard to the honesty of one's um, artistry, you know. And while of course some compromises will have to be made, knowing self and knowing human nature and life well enough to know where to do that, how to do that, when to do that in a way that one can continue to remain true to self and, and feel good about who you are and what it is that you're doing, that you're offering. Because no one can ever be who you are and no one can ever do what you do. You may think highly of it, you may be you know, very modest or you may be down on yourself, but the truth is no one can ever be you or do you or no one can ever have what you have, the gifts that you bring to bear upon the planet. No mistakes. It really just depends on the choices we choose to make. Everything is everything in the face. Hi, this is Rochelle Farrell, and you're watching Black Music America. <laughs>